Once, there was a ghost in a town called a villager. And in a villager, this ghost was a very sneaky ghost. And he was not an ordinary ghost. He was a poltergeist. Now, poltergeists are spirits. They're very mean spirits that destroy property, steal things, or even hurt people. This is the poltergeist of Villaja. He wrecks buildings, destroys them. And then he runs away without doing anything. He goes there and destroys it, destroys a well, making the town flood. He punches people. He's never good. He also runs about stealing. Goes in, bullies people. But since the people can't steal him, can see him, he just steals things that aren't his. And then he transforms into a man. Back into a man he is, and then he knows. People are after him. He runs. He runs in a house. And he drinks his ghost restoration potion. And there he runs as an iron helmet. And knight, he knights it upon knighthood. There he runs, stealing money. Stealing obsidian and blocks. Building random structures. Stealing other armor and littering. Throwing bread and carrots all over the place. And even killing monsters of his own kind. He also can fly too. That's one of the bad things he does. Destroys everything. This poltergeist? is a man known as Daedalus Dertirius. He has also journeyed to Pirate Prince's Skyblock, where even the foulest creatures like him reside. He steals, he bullies, he destroys everything he finds. takes everything he wants. And no one can stop him because he's invisible. So, if you see some armor walking around, you better run. The poltergeist is in town. He runs with his sword attacking people. Nothing can stop him as he is a ghost. He terrorizes the villagers. Terror with ease. For no one likes him and no one believes. He makes up stories, truth and lie, and with them, the villagers are terrified, they can't deny. When he blows up everything, the best thing for them to do is to stay quiet. They don't want to be next. And if you annoy this ghost, and you will be his next victim. Like this man right here. His name is Carl. 
You see, Carl has annoyed the poltergeist. He goes back into his human form and shouts at him. Carl tries to run away, but he cannot get away from the poltergeist. Poltergeist runs. The poltergeist takes off his armor and he gets the unbeatable set. He gets this and that. He gets everything. He gets armored up for he is to meet his foe. Four. He's a giant dragon head. He is the one that eats everything. This is the Ender Dragon. He must face his new bitter rival with zero chances of survival. He flocks upon the town and calls for help, but no one decides to let him yell. They all decide that he is very not good. They all want him gone. And so they uh, they stood up and said, We don't want you anymore, so get lost. With that, he grabbed his legendary chest plate. He grabbed his sword. He grabbed everything he owned. And he said, Next time I come upon you, you shall not be as lucky. And with that, he ran away. Everyone called him a coward, there to say. As he kept putting his symbols up at night to give the villagers quite a fright. And as this mighty poltergeist floated away, his rival chased him and came to say, Anything you do, anything that's bad, will not be restored because you are mad. And with that, the poltergeist went back away from this evil structure of the village he thought was once his. He took one look, good last look at this town and said, the ghost will be down on the ground. In his knees he will bow to me. For that is not a true ghost. And that I will see. And everyone has been terrified of him. Though at night he has began building a bomb with the fright. All the villagers were scared astray. So they went into their houses night and day. They did not come out, even when there was a draft. No one even knew what the poltergeist was doing, because he blocked all his windows. The thing is, at night, the poltergeist can see. He activated his night vision, and he started building more, more, more. He was one of the foulest creatures on Earth. In fact, he, he made it a part of Prince's top ten list of evil creatures. You also know this evil former guy did one thing: rob the blanks, rob the blacksmith. While that hero ghost was away that day, he summoned monsters out of the fray. Zombies, he said, help me, my minions, destroy this town of villagers. Attack! Attack! And with that, 
he sets all of his mighty army loose. All on this town. May this town be cursed. And so with that, he went. He started putting monsters up. The thing is, all the villagers were really scared, but none of them could really be compared. Plenty of those zombies there that night, he would just come in and give the villagers a fright. Soon, all the villagers would be so foul, so he blew up their house. Soon as every single villager died and none survived, none villager was safe. All the zombies came in, turned him into what was their dear king. And since everyone was attacking, the hero stood up. This was, this was Dorney McSwaggins, the only way up. He was a simple creeper living in a hut. Then a zombie came. The zombie was ready the day he had been come here. And the poltergeist came came as a flutter and he destroyed all these villagers. And none of these villagers even stood a chance to die. None of them. None of them. There was just too weak, he thought. The weak shall not live. They shall become the undead. As he was most strongest at night, he spawned in the worst creatures. He spawned in. He spawned in the gas. Spawned in the blazes and magma The guests were a very horrible creature, very weak, but very large. All the villagers were afraid to come out, though soon none were left. Was true. He destroyed the inside of Poltergeist. Lest the zombies come. And then he flew away laughing. All these villagers never stood a chance. Put him on the loose. All those villagers soon to be dead. All those monsters. Redder than red. So soon. So soon when the other hero came by, he was blasted out of the sky. Those ghasts. Those ghasts were really horrifying. Horrifying than anything in this life. Then he flew away with his bomb and let it blow. After almost all the village was dead, he laughed and said, None shall survive. None! Soon the village was blasted astray. Nothing could ever resist, not even in the day. But as this poltergeist was flying, something came and he started dying. He couldn't fight it, he flailed. 
all that he knew was that he failed. So, he knew he was dying. So, as one of the most talented builders ever known to mankind, after he spawned in millions of magma cubes, he got a piece of dirt, a sign, and he put a curse on that dirt. He made it a face. You see, that face was what made Douglas Dirtirius. So after he imported what of his nature, he decided that he was too later. He was dead. He was really dead, as he was back as a human, not knowing what had happened. And then he looked up at the moon. He had lost all his powers, and very too soon. So as he began to run, the mobs were chasing all through the night. Soon he knew he was dead. So, he tried to call the villagers for help. But there his own army waited. As the dirt block still had his previous memory, he went back. There he saw a creeper. Can you help me? And then the creeper blew. He ran away. Only to go and find a ruined village. He had some memory of this village. He remembered himself flying. Flying. But only poltergeists and ghosts could do that. And I'm not one. Soon he started running away right to one of the zombies and then he died he died forever and his heart mind and soul rested in the dirt block who soon found its way upon a young traveler named pirate prince 34 that is the story of the evil dirt block